everybody, I'm Matt and today we're checking out the Car Air Mattress by LMZX. I have a Tesla Model 3 and I've been looking for something to camp in and I think I found the solution. This is a pretty comfy air mattress and it fits right in the back of your Tesla. The fit is pretty much perfect and even for a guy who is 6 foot 2 and 255 pounds, it's a great fit. Let me show you around. Unboxing it, we have a patch kit, an air pump, and the mattress, and a carrying bag. The outside of the packaging could be definitely improved, but you'll want it so that the pillow side is towards the front. Now before you get too far, it's worth filling up the bottom first because you won't be able to have the air mattress pump reach the back of your car. The cord actually isn't long enough for my Tesla Model 3, so I had to go ahead and blow that up manually because then I already blew it up with the hose, but just something to keep in mind. It's really easy to blow up manually too for the bottom. The mattress is blown up in three sections. You have the pillow, the foot, and then the main section. Now my first attempt to fill the main section, it was hard to get enough air in there. However, I realized that there's a one-way valve cap that they put on there so that you can actually get it most of the way filled up, plug it, and then finish topping it up. So how's the comfort? The comfort is quite good. It is a thinner air mattress, so keep in mind this is probably best for just one person. Um, you could fit two people in here, but you're going to be pretty cozy. When I lay down on it, I don't feel the bottom of my car, and that's really important to me. A lot of other um, non-air mattresses that I've tried, they have uh, felt the back seat where it increases in angle, and that's just not any good for a good night's sleep. The texture of the air mattress is a very uh, familiar texture that kind of soft felty texture. Uh, it's definitely going to want to have a sheet with this mattress. I could foresee this getting pretty warm, especially in the summertime, and it's really hard to slide across. So if uh, you're like me and you don't bend well, you definitely want to have a sheet on this so you can kind of slide right in. I actually tried crawling through both the trunk and the side door, and I think the side door is a little bit easier uh, once you kind of get the hang of it. As far as your front seat position, I've actually got quite the gap here, and uh, I just put my seats forward all the way as far as like the tilts. I didn't slide them forward, so that makes it pretty easy for the positioning as well, which I really appreciate. So being six foot two, I was a little bit concerned about the overall length of the mattress and how comfortable I would be in here, but even with the trunk closed and uh, with the head of the mattress down a little bit, uh, if I sleep straight forward, my feet do touch the trunk, and it may be a little bit uncomfortable for me since I'm so tall. However, if I go diagonal, now I've got a pretty good angle to where I can more comfortably lay. I'm still touching the bottom, but you know I think it'll be a pretty good night's sleep overall. Stomach sleepers will really enjoy this mattress. It's nice and comfy. If you're a side sleeper, it might not be thick enough for you but some extra padding should help with that. So as I lay back here and I'm on my belly, I do kind of hit the uh, front seat a little bit. So I'm probably gonna slide that front seat up a little bit more so I have some room. And I might even add some extra padding kind of in the front of this so that I can build up my pad and I can have like a nice pillow stack going on. So if you got like a backpack or a suitcase, it'd be a perfect spot to put it right behind the front seats, and then you can put pillows on top of it. It'll be wonderful. So is this a mattress you'd want to sleep on all the time? Definitely not, but it's a great mattress for a weekend car trip or even like a week-long car trip. Say you're going across the country or you just want to go camping. This would be a perfect mattress for one person or for two smaller people. It sets up really easy in just a few minutes, and it also is very compact for storage. It can slip right into the front or in the rear compartment for storage. The bonus, if you had a long day at work, you can just slide right into your car and go take a nap. Well, that's all I got. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you will enjoy this mattress as much as I did. I would definitely recommend buying it. It's very much worth the purchase price. Um, just a few shortcomings that I could see um, are the smaller cord on the air pump, which really isn't that big a deal since it fills up from the front mostly. Uh, blowing up the rear portion is, uh, the bottom portion is very, very quick. And the thickness. If really, if it was much thicker, you'd probably hit your uh, hips on the trunk lid in the Model 3. So 
you know, this really is just a nitpicking thing more really. Um, even as I lay on my side, there isn't a whole lot of contact with the floor. So I think even side sleepers would be happy with this mattress.